Hey folks, it's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor bringing you the best of travel all around the world. You know how we do it on this channel. We share information with respect to moving abroad, either through getting jobs, various job opportunities that exist, or going through the easiest pathway, which is education. Occasionally, I share various other pathways with which you can move abroad. All right. It's always good to say this, I am not an immigration consultant, but every information that I put out there is based on years and years of travel. I have been to 62 different countries and I've lived and worked in five of them. So this is based on my years of experience and also having helped people move abroad through my research and what I do. If this is the first time you are watching me, please do not leave this channel without subscribing and hitting the like button if this has helped you. And of course, for those who've always watched me, I want to say thank you and thank you very much. Now, I shouldn't forget to say this, that it's come to my notice that a few people very, <laughs> I don't want to use the word, um, go around telling people to join telegram groups in my name, pay accounts. Um, I don't have a telegram group. I don't have a WhatsApp number. The only way to reach me is through my email. All right. Through my email, which you can find on my Twitter page or even my Instagram page. If I would ever tell you to pay for consultation, it will be clearly written Waka Waka Doctor. All right. So that's the only way to contact me. On this episode, we'll be talking about how to get remote jobs and move abroad as a consequence of those jobs. How to get remote jobs and also move abroad or get visas that would facilitate your move abroad. Now, as I always do with all my videos, I put links that are essential and would help with you getting those jobs in the description box. Now, a lot of people always struggle and say, what is the description box? What is this description box? Now, every YouTube video has a description box which tells you more about the video you're watching. If you look at the side of the video, you would see a drop down. If you click on that drop down, then the description box comes down and you can see all the information that you need to know. So I'll be putting links, links to get jobs and everything else about the visas as well. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the visa. The visa is called the digital nomad visa. All right. Uh, no, let me start by telling you how to get these jobs. I think that's important because the digital nomad visa uh, facilitate those that work remotely to move abroad. Now, there's no pathways to citizenship but at least you can move from one country to the other. You can move with your family. It's, it's quite easy to do. It usually takes about four to six weeks to get it done. All right. Now, how can you get these remote jobs? These remote jobs, there are a lot of websites, about 20, 25 of them, which I'm going to put in the description box, like I've said. I think the most important one is even in fact, if you don't have a LinkedIn account, if you just Google just check Google Jobs. Google Jobs is a, is a fantastic tool to get remote jobs. So if you just Google Jobs, you would see a lot of remote jobs. There are many other ones like angel.co, um, flexjob, uh, remoteok.com, hired.com, um, remote.co. There are many, many links and any job, so long as it's remote, you would find it on those websites. Okay. Now, when you get the job and you're able to work remotely, it means you can work from home. You can work from anywhere. You don't have a particular place you're stationed to. You are entitled to get a visa that's called a digital nomad visa. Okay. Now, digital nomad visa is almost like a tourist visa, but this allows people who work remotely to work. OK, now, because if you work using your tourist visa, it's illegal. Right. So a digital normal visa allows you to be able to work. OK, now, like I said, it's not an, it's not a pathway to citizenship, but it allows you to be able to move with your family, to 
to be able to move from one country to another. There are more than 40 countries that run these programs. 40 different countries. And I'm going to tell you a few of them. Okay. Now, a digital normal visa allows you to do three things. Or two things, maybe. It allows you to work okay remotely in a foreign country that's number one um, and you usually have to work for an employer or a company that's outside outside your host country okay you have to work for a country or a company that's outside your host country that means that if you're living in if the if you're living in greece for instance then the company you're working for has to be outside greece okay good now you could also have a business you can manage from anywhere in the world if you have a business you can manage from anywhere in the world then you also qualify for this visa now what are the criteria eligibility criteria for this visa number one you need to be 18 years of age and above number two you must have a specific income okay there must be income inflow into your account of a specific amount from a specific company paying you all right and number three is you must have a job that you can do anywhere in the world with a router a telecom telecommunications antenna whatever it has, it has to be remote now what are these countries more than 40 countries that you can get these visas from costa rica greece hungary italy united arab emirates ecuador bahamas uh, Mexico, Hungary, um, South Africa, Spain, Mauritius, Seychelles, Cayman Islands, Croatia, Latva, Latvia, uh, Norway, uh, Montenegro, Argentina, Ecuador, uh, Bermuda, Cape Verde, Spain, Sri Lanka, Malta, Cyprus, you know, Taiwan, Czech Republic, loads and loads of these countries. Okay. Now, which ones are the best in my own opinion i've written a few down that i think are the best for you to try um germany estonia costa rica croatia norway mexico portugal are the ones that i think are the best and this is the reason why estonia has become the hub okay has become a hub um for tech and so it's easy to get their visas croatia is also the same norway is the same Mexico, same. Portugal, in fact, has a specific visa that's called the D7 visa that has been launched specifically for those who work remotely. Um, Costa Rica is perhaps the easiest. If you can earn, if you earn as I think about $2,000 to $2,500 every month, it's the easiest to get, okay? If you can earn that much. And the visa allows you to stay in Costa Rica for at least two years. Okay, um, the Czech Republic is also another easy one, except that the, the Czech Republic requires you to earn, I think, about five thousand dollars, so which is a bit higher um, than Costa Rica. My advice for those who want to try this visa is go for the easy ones, the easy countries, Argentina, Costa Rica, and um, you know you can be moving and moving from country to country just the way you like it. Now the process is simple: you fill the application form, which can be seen online, make an um, appointment with the embassy of the country you want to move to, uh, prepare your documents and submit the application. What are the documents you need to get? Documents include the application form, your international passport, two passport photographs, proof of health insurance, um, your bank statement to show your income, uh, your birth certificates, CV and qualifications, and evidence to show that you work remotely, which means contract work, um, clients, your business license, and things like that. Okay, so once you submit your documents at the embassy, it usually takes about four to six weeks. Now, the visa can cost as low as $160 to as high as $2,000, depends on the country you want to go to i think this is a massive opportunity for those who want to work remotely and move abroad remember check those websites i've listed get a job first and get cracking with this visa it's your one and only waka waka doctor here as always making it sharp 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 who
And this is another means to go abroad. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on another video, another episode. Till I catch you again. See ya.